Hey guys, so here we are. It's Monday. I apologize if I'm a little bit dark here compared to the sky, but we finally got some sun, which is awesome. It's been what feels like two months where we've been in just the cloudy, gloomy, gray type of light. Um, and it feels great to have that nice warm sun coming down on my face. So unfortunately, we got a nice sunny day when I'm at work all day and all I've got is a few minutes over my lunch break to get out. So I'm gonna make the best of it and try and keep this video short. Now, I just wanna to touch base, thank all of you guys who followed along as I did that last series on the black and white photographs. Hopefully, for some of you, you got some information out of that that you found useful and helpful. Um, I had a lot of fun doing it. It was kinda, of, kinda of different diving into one topic and peeling back the layers over a span of a few days and a few episodes rather than just trying to give a real high level overview of things and then move on from there. So absolutely would love to hear from you guys on what you thought of that and if you'd like to see more content like that going forward um, where we kind of take a topic or an idea or a thought and dive into it a little more over a, uh, a span of a couple episodes. It may only be one or two episodes, it may be three or four. Um, but I want to keep them kind of focused on things. So, you know, let me know what you think and if you want to see more like that on this channel here. So, um, that being said, a couple other things I want to talk about. Now, Saturday, as I mentioned in my video, I was out shooting a portrait session um, with a very, very wonderful uh, older couple. They had celebrated their 25th wedding anniversary and they wanted some pictures to commemorate that which was awesome. Not, not enough people do that these days. And number two, they wanted to be able to use some photos for their Christmas cards. So I did, I think, my world record fastest photo uh, session Excuse me, um, from the time we started shooting to the time I delivered the photos. I think it only took me about three hours, somewhere in there. Um, now it wasn't a huge session. They wanted about you know, technically they were only looking for, you know, four or five photos. Ended up, um, you know, kind of keeping it around that 50 photos or so. But the one huge help I've had, and I don't want to make this an ad for Fuji cameras, but it really makes such a big deal with these Fuji cameras because you're seeing through the electronic viewfinders of these things exactly what that image is going to turn out like before you even press the shutter button. And it really, really made a huge difference in being able to line up these shots and know that I had the base image that I wanted to start with and then could bring it into Lightroom when I got home and had to do just a few quick simple little adjustments on the raw files and really bring out the rest of the the character and, and feeling in the images that I wanted to give them to finish them up and it sped that whole process up so much and I can't it's not the first session I've shot with Fuji gear on portrait work I've done weddings and everything else but this session here Number one was really, really amazing. This couple was fantastic. They were a blast to chat with, and I, I um, had just a, a lot of fun taking their photos and, and making some memories for them that they can share with their family through the holidays and to commemorate a special time like a 25th wedding anniversary. So very awesome there. But number two, this really hammered home just how happy I am that I made the switch to Fuji a while back because that's something that when I was shooting Nikon still, I didn't have, you know, I wasn't able to see and so there's a lot of images where you take the photos and then you're spent looking at the back of the camera like did I get it, did I get it, okay lighting's good, now we can take the real picture and I found I, I used to miss a lot of shots or I'd have shots that I really liked the expression and things like that but didn't have the lighting right so I'd have to spend quite a bit of time in Photoshop or Lightroom trying to correct that so really has been a huge asset there so that session was a lot of fun and it's always nice to kind of stretch those creative muscles in a different way because I've been very heavy into the landscape side of things since late summer, early fall. I did shoot some weddings this fall as a second shooter, which kind of helped, you know, push my mindset both on the portrait side and the landscape side. Um, but it was nice to shoot a, a nice portrait session like that. It was no pressure. And most of all, it was a great conversation. I had a lot of fun meeting this couple. So, um, that was tremendous and, and normally like I said I would have shot some footage maybe even of them because um, I think they would have been okay with that but I knew I was right in the middle of this black and white session and figured I wanted to just focus on that and get that series of black and white discussion wrapped up before we uh, dove into anything else so portrait session two thumbs up Fuji gear really shined and um, let me create some some really good work for them that they were pleased with so 
The next thing I wanted to talk about just real briefly is, and I don't want to scare you guys, but I had a conversation recently with some friends of mine, um, which is part of that big announcement that's coming and you'll be able to hear more of that very soon because I think mm, I was going to announce today, but I think by tomorrow we're going to make an announcement here on, on what I got to do last week that was really, really cool. So stay tuned for that. But part of the conversation was about the fact that I do these videos daily and um, you know, have gotten some concern from, from some saying, geez, you know, just be careful, we don't want you to burn out. And it's something even prior to that I've given some thought to because I'm in no way feeling burned out by doing these videos daily. But my main concern is for you guys as the, uh, as the viewers and making sure that I don't burn out long term. And so I'm really kind of right now tossing around a few ideas as far as maybe scaling back a little bit from a daily vlog like this into something more that's, you know, possibly a couple times a week or things like that. And, and one of the things I've been kind of paying attention to over the last, you know, few weeks to a month, even though this is a pretty new channel, is that the, the episodes I put up over the weekend don't seem to get looked at as much. And I think because everyone's so busy on the weekend, I encourage that, you know, don't sit in front of your computer screen watching YouTube videos, get out, shoot, take pictures, enjoy the outdoors, spend time with family. And so the weekends are, are a time where I'm looking at, you know, my my audience, if you will, is is not quite as engaged over the weekends and there's there's some other factors going into it and so I am contemplating a switch there just kind of scaling things back in order to focus more on some better content for you guys to keep things a little more focused as well as to make sure I'm not like just oversaturating you guys and, and hitting you guys with too much that you're not going to be able to keep up with so I'll definitely be transparent about everything and any changes I decide to make you guys will be the first to know about it and um, we'll go from there for now though it's still business as usual we're going to keep rolling um, with an episode a day so with that in mind I do want to ask you guys because I want to touch base on a couple uh, upcoming potential Q&A sessions and live photo chats and different things like that um, I do urge you guys, please send in any topics, any ideas, any questions or thoughts you guys have about anything to do with photography or really anything else that you see me talk about in these videos. And I'd love to be able to have a, a, an ongoing um, dialogue and conversation going there because it's something that's nice that we can discuss it here because you never know when your question you're having or your thought or something like that may be something that someone else is struggling with. And that's kind of the goal here is as a photographer, I wanted to be able to give back um, to other photographers, and it's a way for me to keep creating things um, for not just myself and in a personal selfish reason of, of having a record of where I was at, but also to help others um, as they're learning. And even if they're advanced, you know, we always are constantly learning and picking up tips. So it's just a really nice way um, to be able to form a little bit more of a community where we can talk about things and um, address a lot of the issues and concerns or questions that we all may be having. So please feel free to send in any questions via Twitter. Um, I do have my Facebook group for David Swiduck Photographer here. You can also find me um, on Instagram or any number of places. I've got the links all down in the, the show notes every single video. So hit me up in any one of those spots and we'll be happy to um, you know, kind of dive in and, and talk a little bit more about that. So, like I said, today's a little bit more of a housekeeping uh, type of episode. With that, I'm going to get back to work. I'm going to try and take a few more pictures and enjoy the sunlight while I can. Um, last I saw in the forecast, it was going to be cloudy the rest of the, the week and possibly up to the next 10 days. So, certainly want to soak this in right now while I can. So, you guys take care. I will talk to you soon. And, um, like I said, send me any feedback, questions, comments, thoughts you have about photography in general or anything else that may be on your mind regarding the videos we do here daily. And I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Take care.